Hello, my friends. Jacob is here once again. Thanks for pressing play, for joining me, for spending some time with me on this kooky day. The kooky world we're living in is all kooky. That's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about all the strange, interesting symbolism that is hidden everywhere. All around you, you're living in a world you think you know. If you're a, if you're a subscriber to the channel, you probably already know that a lot of stuff is kind of tucked away, symbols and signs, and a lot of what they call like black magic <laughs> or yeah, weird stuff happened a lot last night in the uh, Super Bowl. Yeah. Time show. It was an interesting one, J Lo came out, right? Everybody was applauding her, saying, you know, 50 years old, she looks so great. I'm gonna be 50. It's good to be in shape, Just dancing on top of the Empire State Building. The set that they had, very much looking like the all-seeing eye. Very true, right? At parts of the show, at one point, it looked like the bottomless pit opened up. <clears throat> Everything fell, and then six rivers of water were flowing down. It was weird. not as weird as when J-Lo's daughter came out. She she stole the show. She had a beautiful voice, did such a great job. They've called, they call her a prodigy. And um, at one point it looked like, you know, she was singing with all these children. It was this nice little song. And there was this great aerial shot of the stage. That's, that's Venus. That's the Venus sign. Yeah, it's the Venus sign. It's the, the female sign. It's Venus. It's the morning star. So you got a bunch of children going into these things that look like cages. And then what was with when they were performing? At one point, there was like emojis everywhere, smiling emojis. And if you're if you if you've watched the channel long enough, you know I did a show. Uh, after watching Bullworth Smythe, that, that Illuminati puppet guy in his cool channel, I did a show about uh, how these emojis could possibly be like the 72 Goetia seals, which are like demonic seals. It's uh, the Lester Key of Solomon. Watch the video. I'll, uh, I'll link it for you. But there was the happy face emoji, which could also be this. surrounded by demon sigils or was it just like a little light little thing i don't know i just think it's strange you know what else i think is strange is the fact that at this party everybody's talking about kobe they're talking about kobe's um passing and it's sad there's a lot of videos out there i i, I watched a little bit of edge of wonder people told me to check them out very cool show some football player some ex-football player who uh you know like really is all about exposing the illuminati and sports and Huh, I went and I, I looked at some of his tweets and it opened my eyes to some things. I gotta tell you, because you know, Ethan is a huge basketball fanatic, loves basketball, but it's like everywhere. I mean, I see all of the Illuminati tattoos all over basketball. I mean, like this, and this, and like this. They all got like the all seeing eye in the pyramid. They all do the hand signals. strange was after Kobe's tribute there was like this there was a, a little ISO camera that caught LeBron James and at the end of the tribute he does this little thing where he points up and then he makes the uh, you know the pyramid and then he does the whole 666 thing with his hands take a look It's a little 
little bizarre, right? Like, it's a little weird. It's not the first time he's done it. Of course, I, I said, well, I can't be the only time he's done it. I checked it out, and then there's more. A lot of people don't realize, you know, like, why is 23 the most coveted number in basketball? Do you know why? I, I know why now, I think. I mean, Michael Jordan, LeBron James. 23, big number, right? A lot of people say that it's 666. It's like a code for 666. Jim Carrey's movie, 23. 23 unique pairs of chromosomes. 23 different chromosomes. WWW is the 23rd letter in the alphabet. You get W's right underneath the two and the three, 23. W is also the uh, the Hebrew equivalent of 6662. Every time you type in www, it's 666. Interesting, right? So you do really like 23, 23, 23, 666, 666. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. So I look into it because, of course, you know, so I'm kind of talking about this with uh, them at the party. And I'm saying, you know, there were a lot of weird things about um, Kobe's passing. Of course, the, there's that commercial, that um, Nike commercial where him and Kanye are going at it and he throws a bomb at the helicopter and the helicopter crashes. But at the very end of the, the uh, commercial, the, uh, the guy who's pitching the commercial to Kobe says, you know, heroes, you know, heroes are one thing, but legends are forever. And then the last shot is this. It's like the, uh, there's, there are these rituals that are being played out. We don't even know about it. Kyrie Irving, all right, he has these sneakers that came out. Now, I know all about this stuff because, of course, like I said, my uh, my youngest is like, he's just in, loves basketball. And every time he makes the three, they do the whole 666 thing with their eye. Kyrie's sneakers have the Illuminati pyramid right on the shoe, as well as UFOs. It's almost like they're all in on it, right? There's all there's the secret society and and like all the celebrities. That's why you see all the celebrities making their little Illuminati eye symbols all the time and doing their little six six sixes all the time. Beyonce and Jay Z, they just had a garden party right before the Grammys, right? And this is the picture that was being showcased. Check out Beyonce. I mean, it couldn't be a little more obvious, right? And then of course you have the. Uh, a little while ago, Shaquille O'Neal came out and talked about how he is a proud Mason. Now, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not in on the inside. I don't know the inside. I don't know what the secret is. I don't know why whenever you're an influencer, you got to be into all this stuff. Like, why during the tribute, why during Kobe's tribute did LeBron make that hand sign and make the 666? I mean, what is going on? I want to know. I want to know. I don't want to be left out. Do you want to be left out? It's not cool. You're all making your little signs and doing little symbols and we watching these things. And like, I got to tell you, I, you know, I was at the Super Bowl party and it was fun and it was, uh, it was, it was a great time. But it, during the halftime show, all the kids, they're looking up and I'm looking at all these men dressed like barely dressed. It's like in, and then what, they're wearing the checker, the Masonic checker outfits. And they're wearing like the, uh, the S&M outfits and you got the, it's just too much. It's just too much, just a little strange. It's a little strange. And of course, uh, J Lo's daughter going into that, they, they look like little, they look like they're little, uh, little cells. It was like 19 of them. And the Venus sign. Venus, by the way, it's Lucifer. It's the morning star, the bright morning star. Strange. It's all around us, right? Taco Bell's got the 666 of the all seeing. Uh, it's everywhere. The monster logo 666. Everywhere you look, it's all around us, right? The number of man, the number of the beast, carnal, ignorant mankind. I just find it all fascinating. And it's kind of it's kind of sad because it's almost like it's kind of like a joke. Because when you look at their pictures and when they're doing their things and they're posing and they know that they're doing it. It's like, you know, I'm trying to when I first started doing videos years ago, I did the I thought was the okay sign, but there's nothing okay with the 666 hand sign. There isn't, all right? But I, you know, I, I made a mistake. I consciously don't do it because now I'm aware of it. 
and yet they're all doing it. They're like, hey, let me show you this. Let me show you that. And you got you to gotta, you gotta question something, right? Um, because, of course, Kanye was in that Kobe Bryant commercial. And Kanye right now, supposedly Christian, right? Okay, maybe he is. I don't know. I don't know. I've done a couple of videos on that. I think you should check it out. But I do find it interesting that you see this crossover going on now where you see, you know, the, the entertainment industry, which was very, very much, as some people would say, luciferian or or some people would say satanic you know like rihanna when she said she worships the devil other people say they worship the devil very much you start to see them crossing over now into christianity which is weird right which is strange i uh just like when kanye first uh, you know he was doing all this stuff he was doing the musicals and he and uh he was at lakewood church and in the choir right in the all-seeing eye right so i mean <sighs> Check out my video on Kanye too. I'll put a little link at the end of the show. You should check that out because you gotta, you gotta wonder, like, what, if you're doing that, why then dress up like, uh, like Beelzebub, like the Lord of the Flies? And it wasn't even Halloween. It was like just, just this random picture of Kanye dressed as a uh, bug, and his wife and the kids look like a little lyra. I mean, it's just, just kind of gross, kind of gross. Not exactly uplifting. Also for Halloween, there was the big talk, remember back in the day, where he didn't want anybody to be wearing lipstick, his kids, right? And then all of a sudden you see all the pictures of them dressing up like the devils and the angels and I don't know, I don't know. So, s secret societies, you know, they're, they're in on something, right? They know something that they're not telling us. We wanna know, we wanna know. You tell me if you think that this is a real thing or it's just some weird coincidence. Like, I mean, look. That, uh, when the, the kids were performing and they did that aerial shot, that was a planned aerial shot. And it's Venus and that's Lucifer. So you tell me, you tell me. I love each and every one of you. I hope you do subscribe, share, tell your friends, have the best day ever. And uh, wish I had a little more time. I gotta get to work. So that's why, that's why sometimes I'm very rushed when I come on here because I gotta fit everything in. And I hope I do a good job. I hope you like it. And if I, you do like it, will you give me a thumbs up? I give you thumbs up. I love each and every one of you. Don't forget to share, subscribe, comment, and have the best day ever. And if you have any cool inside, like little things, you know, because I do go to the comments, and you should share them. If you see any, any more of the Super Bowl stuff, I'm sure uh, KJ over at Scariest Movie Ever, If uh, I'm sure he's gonna come out with a video on this because usually uh, anytime there's a Super Bowl thing or Grammy, I can't wait to see what he comes up with. I love each and every one of you and I'll talk to you soon, bye-bye. Thanks for watching Jacob Israel. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and share this channel around. If these shows have helped you, help Jacob to reach more any way you can, and have the best day ever.